This video is for the lot and landscaping assignment associated with the tiny home on wheels assignment. So what we're going to start out with is our green energy cottage. Now this is just a demonstration cottage and it's not really representative of what was given in the instructions as to what you were to do as far as, um, I mean it is the rough square footage um, but there's only one door, one window, you should have more than that. Uh, this does have the solar panels on top. Um, you have to have three different uh, green energy systems associated with your assignment. I'm going to uh, include those uh, later on as we do the lot and landscaping. So the first part of the criteria for lot and landscaping is you have to create a lot around your cottage. So it's just going to go and let's see let's get a little closer now depending on where you want your cottage and association so it's going to be 500 feet by 500 feet okay so let's go 500 feet comma space 5 100 feet enter now right now the house is kind of offset on it, as far as its location on the uh, on the lot so if you want I mean most people want it more or less on center uh, so if you want you can undo what you just did uh, the one way you can fix it is you could turn your cottage into a component and you could maybe more or less move that component around although you you turn your house into a component you're going to be uh, dealing with complications if you have to make any changes to the house later because it is a component so you might want to just do something like that it's roughly in the middle part of the marking criteria is not that it's in the middle okay I mean, you don't want it offset like to this little corner here, but I mean, if it's here, if it's in a roundabout area of the middle or, you know, has decent, uh, a decent amount of space between the outside of the lot and the cottage, that's pretty much all that's, that I'm looking for is in the marking criteria. Okay, so we've got our 500 by 500 check. Add landscaping, trees, grass, bushes. Okay. Let's go over to our 3D warehouse. Well, let's first add grass. That's an easy one. Okay. Let's go over here. Landscaping, fencing, vegetation. There's our grass. Click. We have grass. Okay. Uh, you, you're going to want a driveway. That's part of the criteria. Uh, it wants a driveway with a car. Now you can get fancy and uh, you know you can have like a winding driveway. That's your call. Um, I'm gonna say let's see what do we got? This is kind of we got some interlocking stone. This makes for a really fancy driveway. You have to zoom in to see the texture, but uh, but it is there. Okay, you can make an asphalt. You can make it concrete, whatever you want to do. You're going to have to put a car there, which we're going to do in the, once we get into the 3D warehouse. We start importing stuff. So let's go into our 3D warehouse. And I'm not going to populate the entire uh, lot for you, but let's go pine tree any tree will do keep in mind the tree has been drawn by somebody else and that being said it's going to have the scale associated with um, that person's drawing so I just got one tree now I, I would like to see you know, several trees uh, bring in some bushes let's see bring in a bush bush or shrub they're pretty much the same thing okay 
So here's a shrub. Kids. If it, if it warns you that it's a big component, I would really don't do it. Especially as a shrub. That meant somebody sat down and they added like an obscene amount of detail to, to a shrub. Like, that's crazy. Okay, well, let's get a bush. Bush or a shrub. Okay, now keep in mind, bushings. Let's go back to shrubs. Or shrubbery. Okay. All this work for a shrub. Okay. Let's go with this box hedge. Okay. Let's say we got some some of these hedges along the house. I'd like to see a few of those. Okay. I'm going to import a couple more things for this tutorial. Um, it did ask you to import a car. And in brackets it says eco. So I want you basically to import a car. <coughs> That's environmentally friendly. So something small. Now this Prius is zero emissions. It's, a, it's an electric car. So... They don't seem to have any, so let's look at what they do have. Gar. So a Land Rover, not so eco. So you want to kind of, unless you've got a certain car in mind, you want to. Compact car, that's what we want. Compact car is small. Okay, on face. Okay, let's rotate that. There we go. <coughs> now, last but not least, one of the green energy items that this house comes with, or at least I'm going to say it comes with, is a water reclamation system, which means any water that falls on the roof goes into a tank, and you can use it inside the house. So let's get a water tank. We're going to use this. These are water tanks for inside the house. So it says outdoor enclosed water tank. This one's a little better. It's smaller. I guarantee that first one would be absolutely gigantic. Put this behind the house. And perfect. Okay. Now this just touches on fulfilling the basic criteria and how to do it. Now, I would expect to see landscaping around pretty much the entire lot, okay? Uh, you don't have to include the dimensions 500 by 500, although I will be checking that with my measuring tape when I mark it. Um, and if your three systems are not apparent, like this is pretty apparent, those are solar panels, here's a tank, uh, there could be another energy system inside the house. If it's not apparent, List it in 3D text, either on the lot or off the lot, or in your submission. 